Four good pals are in a car, videotaping their sing-along. Notice the passenger in the back seat. He's using a selfie stick. It all looks like good fun until a tire blows out. Hey, can I get a selfie? Yeah. Tom Hanks took his selfie stick to take one last selfie with David Letterman. We get it up above the chin, above the chin. There we go. These are my selfie sticks, everybody. Comedian Kevin Hart used three selfie sticks at the People's Choice Awards to shoot himself with Kaylee Cuoco and Josh Gad. Selfie sticks first exploded onto the U.S. market in 2011, and you're bound to see them just about everywhere this coming holiday weekend. But they can be dangerous, and there's a growing movement to ban them in certain public areas, like museums and galleries, where they could damage priceless works of art. And now, Disney World is banning them from their rides. Danger, danger! How dangerous can they be? Well, this woman is riding a bike with one hand and holding a selfie stick with the other. Check out this motorcyclist. His passenger is holding a selfie stick at high speed and in traffic. And this snowboarder is wielding a selfie stick on a crowded ski slope. That can't be safe. So who came up with the idea for selfie sticks? Just show common courtesy to others. We tracked down the inventor, Wayne Fromm, who came up with the idea during a family vacation in Italy. Disney is saying they do not want these selfie sticks on rides. I agree with them. I think that's prudent. I think it would be very dangerous. You know, you lose uh, the velocity of the ride in your hand. You know, you could hit somebody or let it go, and all of a sudden it's going to fly into the crowd. So you may not see many more spectacular videos like this. Rock festivals like Lollapalooza just announced that it is banning selfie sticks.